Hello everyone, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to share something that I won from Instagram. I won a bottle of ink from Ferris Wheel Press as well as one of their carousel fountain pens. I've never used any of the Ferris Wheel Press pens before, but I do want to do a quick review on this and see if this is something that, well, I'll say it right now, it's probably not something that I would ever have purchased to put into my collection, but maybe it's something that would be a great starter pen for somebody else. And then this one, Edwards Gardens. I am just in love with the box and the shimmer and, well, I say the shimmer, but the shiny areas on the box. I'm really excited to swatch this. So let's get started. Out of the box. Oh my goodness. That looks like a lovely, lovely dark ink. My only concern with the Ferris Wheel Press bottles is that one, they, while they are absolutely beautiful, I feel like I would knock them over. And also in terms of the size of the spout, they're, I think, a little bit difficult to fill. But otherwise, it's a beautiful bottle and you can see a little bit of that shimmer that is in there. So I am excited to give this a try. I've got my ace a6 i'm trying to say b6 and a5 at the same time my a5 galen leather notebook with uh 52 gsm tamoy river paper i also have my wearing ghoul swatch card here so i'm going to do all of that here i also have my little ring binder that i keep track of all of my inks in so i'm going to be swatching that right now i'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit with my pipette here from amazon not sure how much I want to grab. Whoa! Oh crap. <laughs> oh my god. And that's going to soak through all of the pages of my journal. Ah. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, I was able to clean up the mess very quickly, but now I've got to go ahead and do these the paper baggy swatches. And I like to do this because it gives you a really good idea of the shading in it but also like just how cool is that i'm gonna leave that and let that dry so while that's drying i placed a drop here on this wearing ghoul swatch card and just spreading it around with my glass dip pen and then i'm gonna write the name here so it feels very very wet on that nib so Ferris Wheel Press Edwards Gardens. And then I'm gonna write in the corner here that I got it in a full bottle. While that's drying, like how beautiful does that look? And you know what, I don't even mind that that has gone to the side. It's a memory journal. It's gonna keep a memory of the fact that I spilled a huge drop of that. And then the back is actually not too bad. It's got a little bit of shimmer in there and I was able to clean my desk. I forgot who said, who, who gave me the best tip was basically clean it with hand sanitizer. And I actually put a drop of hand sanitizer on a cloth and cleaned it that way and I've been able to clean my desk of many an ink stain. So gosh, how beautiful is that. And one thing I forgot to do was actually write the name of the ink. So I'm going to go back in here one more time. Sorry for the shaking. I'm actually going to grab some ink from the sample because there is a lot in here. And it's a beautiful ink though. So I'm going to write, where do I want to write this? Let's write it here. So Ferris wheel. Press Edwards Gardens. I don't normally dedicate a full page to an ink like this, but because I didn't have any other ink haul for the rest of February, I thought, why not create like a full page for this? And I am loving that. That's beautiful. And even in the writing sample, the shimmer is showing absolutely beautifully. I'll show you a close up here. Just the way that that shimmer is showing, even in the writing sample. But oh my gosh, 
absolutely stunning. I'm so excited for that and I'm so glad <laughs> that I won this bottle. Basically the giveaway, I'm trying to remember the name of the Instagram uh, account that I entered, but I was so happy to have uh, entered and I got to choose the ink that I wanted. I originally wanted, uh, what was it called? I think it was, no, it wasn't Workshop Wishes. It was the Wonder Pens collab with Ferris Wheel Press, but uh, and I don't think that was one that they were able to give out. So I got Edwards Gardens instead, which I'm very happy with this particular ink. So I'm gonna add this to this here and add it to the collection that I currently have. I know I'm just taking whatever I can from this because it's so pretty, but it's there's a lot of ink on there. So I'm including it in the teal. So Ferris wheel press, and it's coming off this pretty well actually. Ed Words Gardens. One thing that I haven't done yet is the line variation. Oh gosh, just that writing sample is very shimmer heavy. So, wow. I like that so much. That's gonna be so, so fun. I'm just loving the way that that is drying. So first impressions of Ferris Wheel Press Edwards Gardens Fantastic. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Herbon, or Jacques Herbon, Emerald of Chavour, or Emerald de Chavoir. And I think that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted a shimmer ink from Ferris Wheel Press is because they've done some fantastic, fantastic shimmer inks and a little bit of that sheen as well. And I think that balance is going to be beautiful. So let's wait for that to dry while I open up the carousel fountain pen. So the pen that I received was their carousel fountain pen and it is, let's open it up here, this particular colorway is their sea glass and I just have to say the packaging is beautiful. The box feels really silky which makes me wonder is it recyclable? <laughs> and there is the pen. I really love that color of the pen and it is a oh, snap cap and there is the nib I'm trying to see it like there's a little bit of a design on there and then it is a fine and actually that's what it's upside down and you can see that there's a little f in the middle there and then included in it it comes with oh gosh is that supposed to be there there's like a little I don't know if that's supposed to be there. Oh, it looks like it is, okay. So it comes with a converter that you put in there. So that's actually really, really great that, that it comes with a converter. What am I going to fill this with? I, I don't know if I'm actually gonna fill this with anything just yet. I wanna test it and I'm gonna test it with some of the Edwards Gardens. Now, is this postable? It is actually, it is postable. It feels like a very narrow pen though. It does have the facets along the grip section, but for me generally, it feels like a very narrow grip section. It is a very light pen and you can either, you know, you can have it unposted, but then if you do post it, it actually doesn't back weight the pen. It's actually quite well balanced. And for a starter pen, I don't actually know how much this costs. Hold on, let me check. So on the ferriswheelpress.ca website, they these pens are $20 and they include the converter, which for some starter pens at that price, you don't even get the converter. So I do have to say that's at least a pro for this particular pen. It doesn't come with a cartridge or anything. So these are all filled with bottled ink. Now I'm going to compare this to some other pens in my collection, just so you have an idea of what the sizing is. All right, so some other pens in my collection compared to the Ferris Wheel Press Carousel pen. I'm gonna compare it to the Pilot Kakuno and the Sailor Pro Gear Slam. I'm actually gonna compare it as well to a Lonnie 2000 and a Pilot Vanishing Point. Now you can see here out of these pens, it's actually even just that tiny bit bigger 
than the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, but you can tell that this is the most narrow out of all of these pens. Now let's look at them unposted. So looking at them unposted, you can definitely see that the Carousel pen is longer than the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. The Pilot Kakuno is definitely longer and also wider. So the narrowest out of all of these pens is the Carousel pen. If you like a narrower, lighter pen, the Carousel pen may be a good fit for you. So let's do a quick writing sample with this pen. So for ink that I'm going to be dipping this pen and I'm going to dip it in Diamine Meadow. I know it's not a match at all and I've now got ink everywhere. This <laughs> this Edwards Gardens has been in and uh, me getting ink everywhere. I know this is not an exact match but I just wanted to dip it in an ink that I know also behaves well. So this is Ferris wheel. Not bad for the nib so far. Ferris wheel press. Carousel. Fountain pen. And this is their sea glass color. And it has a fine steel nib. That's actually quite smooth. I mean, I'm not expecting it to be smooth like a Pilot, for example, but it's not scratchy. And even going in different directions, it's very smooth. A little bit of feedback, not as much feedback as like a Sailor, but it's a good steel nib. Now, reverse writing. Oh my goodness, my, my fingers. Oh my gosh, reverse writing is actually not bad at all. Not scratchy. And you do get a little bit of, it's not, like extra 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 fine but it is it's usable it is definitely usable so i'm gonna write that the ink is diamine meadow and i'm just gonna write the usual sentence that everyone does the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog yeah you know what that is not too too bad for that steel nib i don't mind that at all now what are my overall reviews of this pen i think if you want you know a starter pen that is light that also comes with a converter I actually think this is a good choice for that. It's $20 Canadian from this Ferris wheel press shop, but I think you can almost get this at almost any retailer. And that steel nib, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's actually not too bad. It's a very small steel nib. If I compare it to, let's say, I'm comparing it to a Yovo number six nib, like it's, it looks like it's probably like a number four nib gosh that number six nib looks massive compared to that nib but it is a very small nib i feel like it's comparable to the size of a kaveco nib i don't own any kaveco sport so i wouldn't be able to compare that but this is actually not bad i think it's a good little starter pen or an everyday carry pen if you don't want you know if you just want to throw this around in your purse one note that i did one thing that i did notice was that with posting there's actually a specific way that you post you can't just post it any specific way it has to be i think the ferris wheel press has to actually be lined up with the nib and then you have to push it down a little bit to for it to get to stay otherwise it doesn't push down anywhere else and i feel like the best way to do it is to have the ferris wheel press logo lined up with the nib so that if you wanted to post it it stays on there quite securely so yeah for a 20 dollars pen that comes with a converter with a fine nib that writes smoothly i'm impressed i am impressed by that so i know that there are some people who have done some research on ferris wheel press and the where these pens come from there's lucy barking i haven't done enough research myself for this but if you are a if you like this pen and you think that it's for you go for it I also quickly wanted to show what that ink looks like on both the Endless Regalia paper as well as the Rhodia paper. And I feel like it is very vibrant on the Endless paper. And then it's almost darker 
on the rhodia paper and the tamoy river paper is almost in between the two of them it looks bluer on the endless regalia and almost greener on the rhodia paper so interesting how the two look different and then here it is on, again on the wearing ghoul swatch card it's just a big thing of shimmer on the wearing ghoul swatch card so what i do actually with these paper samples is i'm going to glue them here so that I can have the direct comparison right next to it. And this is just the way that I'm going to build my ink journal. And then this will go into my little business card holder, which I have put all of my Wearing Goal ink swatch cards in. That's going to go right in there as well. So thank you so much for uh, this giveaway. Thank you to Ferris Wheel Press for the lovely bottle of ink as well as the unexpected surprise of the carousel pen. Honestly, I went into this review thinking it's just going to be, you know, it's not going to be the greatest of pens. It hasn't had the greatest reviews, but really if you want a less expensive pen that comes in really cute colors, it comes with a converter and it's actually got a good smooth fine nib that isn't scratchy. It's in I didn't find it dry with the Diamine Meadow. This is a good place to start. All right, and that is it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions about this, please let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, I am so happy with that ink and I cannot wait to ink that up. I might put that in a pen for my A6 journal for the month of March. We'll see. All right, thank you all again so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.